What's up guys, it's Sea Dog, and uh, I'm back with uh, kind of an um unboxing of a really cool toy that I just picked up. And this is going to be of the Sentinel Metamorphose Dan Kuga. This is just a quick unboxing. Um, first uh, and foremost, I got an exclusive, I guess a tote bag. has some really cool art. Um... I forget by the artist. It's a really cool artist. Tomea something. Let's see if it's actually written on here. Oh yeah, Musami Ubari. So this is by Musami Ubari. Is that coming in good? Shows a picture, uh, uh, illustration of Dan Kuga with his Dan Kukin sword. Pretty cool. And it, it, it's bigger than that. It goes out to like that. Metamorphose. And this is an exclusive through HLJ. If I had got it through Ami Ami, I would have got the same artwork, but in an acrylic plate form. Alright, so I've already started to unbox. I've unboxed it from the actual box it came in. And uh, let's just get some of the packaging off here. And I will be doing a review on this too. So, thing. Um, so basically, we can just tab this for later. There we go. Put it up. Put it up. That was easy. All right. So this is the box. Let me just make sure you can see it good enough. frame here. Alright. So this is the box. And as you can see, it's pretty dark. I don't want my lights on, but it's not going to really help. Maybe that'll help a little more. And as you can see, this is, uh, I believe, the front. And it shows... Can you see that? It shows um, all the figures down here. We have the Eagle Fighter, the Land Liger, the Land Cougar, and the big moth, and then they all form Den Kuga. And this is a great product. It's actually um, die cast. Now looking at the side of the box, we have a nice picture of Dan Kuga. Let's see if we can get a little better. There we go. So very cool there. That's a picture of the actual figure. Then we have turn the box around we have a picture of the illustration Bubari again on the front of the box and as I can see you cannot see the whole thing um, so. yeah so as you can see we've got the whole the whole box. Hopefully you can see this well enough. I could always do things like this. I could do with the other thing. Very cool artwork. Very cool. And on the side, on the other side, we have another picture of the figure. Hopefully you can see this all right. I'm shining enough light, at least for a second. All right. So I'm just going to unbox this really quick. Um, I guess this is already open, so I just want to be a little bit careful with it. So, excuse me if I'm pseudo a little bit. It's not, I'm not going to really be slow. I'm just going to be more uh, precise. If anything. Okay. I want to make sure there's no tape sticking to the box. Some of that fun stuff. Put this all out of the way. Right. Open these up nice and good. Yeah. And as you can see, we have a couple pieces of styrofoam. Whoops, well, one is coming out anyway. So be extra careful with it. Like I said, this is just going to be a quick unboxing to kind of get 
an idea that I'll be having this up soon. And uh, just going to remove the box over here for the time being. All right. Next we have uh, a nice booklet that comes with it. I believe it's an instruction booklet. It's a picture of the front of the box and a picture of the illustration. So that's really cool. And as you can see, it comes with two, these come like this when they come out of the box. And it's got two styrofoam casings. And let's take out the tape. I'm gonna show you what's inside. I believe this is the accessories one. It feels lighter. Yep, so. Here, I'll take this off just temporarily, but I want to put it back so it goes that way. Alright, All right, so here's the first accessory box, and we have, let's see if we can get some more lay on this. There we go. There. We have the big wing there. Um, we got the Dan Kukin sword over there. We have some weapons, some kind of machine guns and a rifle for the Eagle, the Land Liger, and the Land Cougar. And then we have this super sick gun right here that has articulation and I believe it some kind of um, beam cannon sort of or it's I'll get the correct names when I do the review. And if you see down at the end there, we have an extra head sculpt of Dan Coogan, which I will take out, or Dan Cooper, I mean, which I will take out right now to show you guys. This is the non-transforming head sculpt, I would have to guess. Let's see if we can get that close enough. There we go. Now this figure is sick. He does have an articulated part right here and uh, paintwork looks phenomenal so that's the first set of figures right, putting that away actually we'll take a look at the Dan Kukin real quick got to be at least nine inches itself very nice paintwork we got some gold paint app for the handle it's got four shield guards for these instead of just two so I really think that's cool it's got a nice blue paint app at the bottom with some nice black paint apps and a, a nice bright silver with kind of a gunmetal metallic look maybe even a Maybe a wash, or maybe they cooked it or something. It looks really nice. I don't see any paint blemishes on it whatsoever. And like I said, I'll go over more of the more of the stuff on the review. And then last but not least. We have the figure itself. We've got Big Moth here in the, at the bottom. Sorry, my arm, my back's hurting. not going to really be that great, but you got the, the Land Liger and the Land Cougar, and then the Eagle top. So quickly we'll just take a look at these. They all come in plastic. Oh, no, this one doesn't. This one looks like it just came with tape on him, and he's already falling apart. I really hope it's not broken. Probably just a ball joint. Yep, just a ball joint. 
no big deal. Just to help. Well, sorry about being off camera for a second. I just want to make sure that he gets properly placed in there. Looks like these arms are kind of, uh, I don't know, finicky. I apologize about being off camera for the time being. I'm just trying to pop the arm back on. I already did it once, but I don't think the lighting is there. You just have to be really careful with them. But there's this guy. And like I said, don't worry, I will be showing the articulation, the transformation, and the figures themselves. Now, really quickly, let's just go over and we'll get this guy's head done. I will figure out a way to get these ball joints to stop popping off. <laughs> Doesn't help that I'm hovering and my back's killing me at the same time. There we go. And... We have the land liger. The land cougar. All of these have great paint. Excellent, excellent paint jobs. And then last but not least, we have, and you can see these, you got little uh, plastic bubble wraps to cover up some of the more important, more delicate parts, I would imagine. And I don't want to grab it, especially because I'm only one handed, so I'm trying really hard to do this without. He's got some nice heft on him. Hold on a second. Last thing I want to do is drop this guy, so I could really care less about showing a perfect shot rather than keeping the figure in good shape. But that's the big moth. So yeah, I'll have a review up for you either, uh, well I'm not sure when, it might be today, and it might be tomorrow. But uh, be on the lookout for that, and catch you on the flip. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and share with friends, and... Don't forget to subscribe to see more toy reviews. Peace.